What's up everybody? In today's topic, we're going to create some labels using PyQt5. We will import the widget of QLabel. This label class is used to create label widgets that can display text or images. Within the constructor of our main window, this is where we'll create a label. We will declare a label object. Label equals call the constructor for QLabel. For the text of the label, we'll pass in a string. That's the first argument. Let's say the word hello. For the second argument, we will pass in self. Self refers to this window object that we're calling and instantiating. All right, let's do a test run. Here is my label, although you can barely see it. The font is really small, but it does say hello. Let's set the font. We'll need another import. From pi qt5 dot qt gui import q font. By importing the q font class, we can begin working with fonts. We're going to take our label, call the set font method. Within this method, we will call the constructor of q font. Pick a font that you would like. I will pick Arial, but feel free to choose really any font. Then the second argument is a font size. I'll pick 30. Let's do another test run. That's much better. Let's increase this to 40 for the font size. Now I'm going to set the geometry of this label, such as the positioning and the width and the height. Let's take our label, use the set geometry method. We will pass in X and Y coordinates. 0, 0 corresponds to the top left corner. For the width, let's set the width to be 500 and the height to be 100. That's better. I'll cover more advanced alignments momentarily. Let's add a style sheet. PyQt does have styles that are very similar to CSS. If you would like to learn more about CSS, I do have a full course on that topic. We will add some CSS like properties by accessing our label object, call the method of set style sheet. Within this method, we will pass in some CSS like properties, such as a color. For the color, let's say blue. These CSS like properties should end with a semicolon. And now the font color is blue. You could also use RGB values or hexadecimal values. You could always look up a color picker and pick a very specific color. Let's pick something green. We can either use RGB values or hexadecimal values. So I will copy this value. So I will paste that hexadecimal value and now we have a very specific shade of green. But I think I'll go with something dark, such as that. So this color is going to be a dark gray color. We could set a background color. This will be a new string. Background dash color. And I will pick a new color. I will pick something blue. That's a decent color. We have a blue background with dark gray text. We can set the font to be bold. Font weight will be bold. So the font is now bold. The font style can be italic. Font, style, italic. So our font is italic, and we can underline text, decoration, underline. The text on our label is now underlined. Let's work on positioning next. Currently my text is left justified and set to the center vertically. To work with alignments, we need this import from 
pi qt5, qt core, import qt. The class of qt is used for alignments. To center the text of our label at the top vertically, we will take our label, use the set alignment method, then pass in a flag, access the class of QT, access the flag of align top. This will align our text vertically to the top. So then our text is aligned vertically to the top rather than the center. For the bottom, we will use the flag of align bottom. We will align vertically on the bottom. The text is now on the bottom. To align vertically in the center, align V center. This will be vertically center, which it was originally. Now for horizontal alignment, we can add the following. Okay, to align right, we will pass in a flag of align right. Horizontally, align right. The text is now all the way to the right. For the center, align H, H for horizontal, center. The text is now horizontally aligned in the center. For the left, align left. The text will be aligned to the left. We could combine both horizontal and vertical positioning. Here's how. Take our label, call the set alignment method. We will align horizontally in the center. Follow this with the OR bitwise operator, which is a vertical bar. This allows us to combine flags. We will align horizontally in the center. Then vertically, let's align to the top. So our text should be aligned. Horizontally, we're aligned in the center. And vertically, we're aligned to the top. Align bottom vertically. Horizontally, we are in the center. Vertically, we're aligned on the bottom. Then for the very center of our label, align horizontal center and align vertical center. Our text will now be in the very middle of our label, both horizontally and vertically. Now there is a shortcut for the very center. We don't need both of these flags. The shortcut is the following. Set alignment, align center. That will align the text both horizontally and vertically. So that is center and center. All right, everybody, so that is an introduction to labels in PyQt5.